and a proposal to pursue a potential 15 field sports sportsplex. Let me say that again. Sportsplex. That's a new word. Uh, Tony, you, you, you put yes, in we're these coining terms out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. In uh, North St. John's County, it just got a green light this week from the county commissioner. Jack's USL has proposed a public-private partnership with St. John's County as it seeks to bring a professional United Soccer League franchise to Northeast Florida and my good friend who I've not seen in forever. Tony Allegretti of Jack's USL is here now with the details. Tony. My man. Yes, sir. How you been? I've been awesome, man. And and you have too. You know, you're a international uh, celebrity. <laughs> no, I don't are, know about we that. We are so <laughs> fortunate to have you back in Jacks for some amount of time, and so really, um, really blessed to see you again. So happy about that, dear listener. Before he came on, I slipped him a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Sportsplex, what explain? Yeah. Like, what so, is that? so we've been working for a couple of years actually with St. John's County, um, and we have been working on a public private partnership to bring more fields there's unmet demand for recreation space and uh soccer space but all kinds of um sports spaces for kids right now and um it's a it's an acute need in uh, st john's county especially north st john's and so the idea was to uh, come up with a way that we could have a training facility for our men's and women's pro soccer team which we hope uh, can kick off in late 25 or early 26. And uh, that would give us a training grounds, but also create um, some soccer fields for our youth in the area to grow up and play. And um, eventually, uh, right now, if you're really good at soccer, which we have a tremendous amount of very good young kids playing, um, you got to move if you want to play pro. Um, and so we're, we're hoping to fix that. And this is a, a good step in the right direction. It was a unanimous vote from the uh, St. John's County Commissioners who we loved and we love working with, um, but it's really just uh, to pursue the deal. So we've got, there's some, uh, there's some milestones that we have to, um, to do, but now we've gotten the approval for them to, for, for the staff in St. John's County to, to help us and to work on it and, you know, do all the um, development stuff. Yeah. So tell me about the economic impact. Yeah. So the economic impact is really tremendous and it's mostly around soccer tournaments. So if you're a, um, a lot of uh, parents are probably nodding their head right now, they've got to go uh, to travel soccer or travel baseball or travel, you know, sports. And uh, we don't have a lot of facilities like that. So we do have good tournaments here in Jacksonville in the area. Um, but uh, the big ones, the big regional tournaments that have regional impact um, are driving right past Jacksonville to go to Atlanta or Orlando. This um, allows us to do a lot of tournaments. The, um, the early numbers on economic impact is about 150 million over 10 years. Uh, so it's 15 to 20 million. Um, the, those numbers are probably um, improving uh, now. And it's about 13, 1400 jobs. So, um, and that's over 10 years too. So it's about 140, 150 jobs too that it'll create. Yeah, I was just about to ask. So what's the whole timeline on this? Yeah. So um, if everything happens in a perfect world, uh, this facility can open uh, sometime in 2025. And that would be uh, really f fortunate for a lot of different reasons, but it would allow us to um, to get some on the field uh, on the field work with our um, technical side, which is the, f the soccer side, uh, at, while we work on the stadium and um, the actual showcase place. This is not the stadium site uh, that we're also working on in parallel. So I think of you as Jacksonville's soccer ambassador, <laughs> yeah. and I know nothing nothing at all about soccer yeah. i know that shot Khan owns a team yes. um and so would the team that you're bringing here would that be in the same league like how does no, that work? no no that, that great question shod's uh team is in the sort of biggest most famous league that's uh that's um the um the premier league in the uk um uh his his team is doing great in fact they're mid table which is really uh kind of good for it's it's not a huge club um but it's uh it's outperforming jacksonville uh hasn't had a pro soccer team since the armada has gone to npsl mm -hmm. they're playing really well the armada is still a thing uh we're really hopeful and i know all the armada fans are really hopeful that they'll come back in a in a pro um uh, capacity and we feel like they will uh the the soccer market and all the research 
uh, that they've done and that we've done really shows that there's enough soccer fans. There's like 300,000 soccer fans in our market. Um, and so thank you for, you know, thinking of me as an ambassador to that, but I'm just one, you know, real zealot. Uh, for it i'm so. just calling you the ambassador because i want to go to a game with yeah, you. yeah of course man. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, I, Absolutely. I want tickets man yeah we'll be behind the goal for sure all right tony allegretti my friend and the soccer ambassador i'm, I'm just like i'm literally giving you that title the soccer ambassador of jacksonville thank you so much for coming in and talking to me appreciate you al